Hi there, so welcome to my Architectonic Cities of Imagination jam today. And I'm looking at Substance Alchemist by Allegorithmic. If you subscribe to Substance Painter and Substance Designer and that suite of stuff, i.e. you make a monthly payment, at the moment they're doing a beta test for Substance Alchemist. So we can have a look at this. It does crash a bit. Speaking of which, my recording software is crashing as well for some reason. But I'll endeavor to go on. So Substance, Al Substance Alchemist is a great program, and I wish it had been out before. It's just a beta test now, but it's working fine. Um, I wish it, because it's kind of a halfway house between Substance Designer, where you make sort of pure materials out of nodes, and then Substance Painter, where you're painting, but you have, less con you, you have more control with finite details, but you have less control with the, sort of the generic patterns of things. It's probably not a very good description, but that's my description for tonight. Um, so I'm gonna all you do with this you take an image a pre-made image in or any image So I've got drawings here. You can take these in so I'm going to click on create as you can see the interface is very simple somewhat more simple than substance designer and um, Substance painter and I'm going to take this image because it's a city jam and I've been using the Medieval map generator before I'll include a link on the YouTube description below this video and this is a perfect little thing to have a go at, you know, as an architectonic city thing and seeing how it will work with Alchemist. So I'm going to click on city as usual and just drag here. It tells you to drag it here when you go to create. And it goes to bitmap to material. And if many of you will recognize this if you've used Substance programs before because there's a program called bitmap to material. But as you'll see, Alchemist is much, much, much more powerful. Immediately, we've got this amazing looking map and it's got a height map on it already, so it looks 3D, so it's got the illusion of 3D using a height map. Um, we can edit all the, th all the materials here, so we can edit the original base material, and we can perhaps say that's stone, because it's going to be like a city. I'm going to make this kind of like an Atlantis kind of looking city. Um, we can go to bitmap to material, and we can mess around with all the parameters here. It's best if you probably do that yourself. We can also go to the mesh here and we can mess around with the samples. The how, See, look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. I'll just reduce that a little bit because sometimes with when you're doing displacement maps, it can look a bit crazy like that. That's a bit like, sort of like an old Machu Picchu kind of city. Machu Picchu. I'll just decrease that a bit you can increase the quality we can add shadows etc etc okay and it's all in lovely real time purely image based it's not um, making any 3d models at all just messing around with an image and imagine how you'd make that in blender or 3ds max or whatever it would take ages Okay, so we can change the mesh around. We can, you know, have it as a cube. It's looking nice. Different things, cylinder, sphere, sphere, to do some, yeah, sphere. We can material, mat, the material person, preview sphere, that do the flip thing. It's, it's, it's like a button. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to, back to the, the plane. And there's things like tiling up here. It's, if you can, if you have a subscription, definitely check this out and have a play with it because I think it's amazing. And we, this is kind of like fill, add layers. So we kind of we choose what sort of layer we want. So I'm going to quickly add water. And this is where my computer is slowing down. It wasn't slowing down earlier. It's just I've got I need to increase some more hard drive space on it. So anyway, I've added water very quickly. And look. Isn't that amazing? And we can add the level, the water level. I'll bring the water level down a bit. And there you go, it's, it's gone down a bit. And you can see the lovely oily surface we can make on the water. That's things like the parameters like dirt and we can mess around with the dirt there. We can also go to advanced parameters. It's pretty amazing. And another really good thing to do is that you can edit the colors. Um, so this is all I'm going to do today is to go over this color thing so, lastly. So where is it? Color variation. Let's put that so it goes into a nice gray color. 
Okay. And, you know, again, I think this is really amazing because that's just from an image. I'm always so impressed with displacement maps, height maps. So I'm going to click on color. You have to click here to get the parameters. And I'm going to go to the color count at the moment is 10. I'm going to click it to custom colors so we can mess around with the colors. I'll take the color count down to about 3. Okay. And this way we can have a lot of control over the colors we're using yeah so that's kind of the city walls so I'll make that a kind of black color very quickly <clears throat> okay I'll just make the color count to four this should again be the black city walls okay and that's should be the interior of the walls well, that's very yellow. That's too yellow. It's too green. It's a nice color. Okay, that'll do for now. And then we can go to this color, which is going to be the water. Make it like a Caribbean blue. All right. And it's still got the lovely reflection on it as well. Um, and that's basically the color. And then we can export. We can export it. This is where we export, is it? I can't remember. Yeah, well, anyway, I'd, you can export it somewhere because I did it earlier on and I made um, some nice textures. And as you can see, quickly open Blender from the city I made previously from this image. And it takes a bit of tweaking. You know, we've got, I'll show you the. The setup, you know, so we've got the principal BSDF, city base, you know, all the um, textures are brought in as texture maps, and we plug them into the corresponding texture. Um, if you include options here that don't, you're not using, it will say like if you have an opacity, it'll just be an image with nothing. And so remember not to put plug in any images with nothing in because it can mess it up. Um, you can't quite see, yeah, you can't quite see the dirt on this, but with a bit of tweaking.